Most people pour seed oils into their pans, toss them into salads, or fry their favorite snacks without a second thought. They've been marketed as heart, healthy, cholesterol, lowering, and the better choice compared to animal fats. But what if we've been sold a carefully crafted story and the truth about seed oils is far more alarming? Today, we're going deep into the hidden dangers of seed oils that most doctors don't mention. Either because they don't know, or because nobody's asking the right questions. How seed oils became a kitchen staple to understand why seed oils dominate our shelves, we need to look back a century. Oils like soybean, canola, corn, sunflower, and cottonseed weren't part of the human diet until industrial production methods made them cheap and abundant. Originally, many of these oils were industrial lubricants or waste products. But after the early 1900s, marketing campaigns cleverly positioned them as healthy alternatives to butter and lard. Organizations and food manufacturers jumped on the bandwagon, and seed oils became everyday ingredients in processed foods and cooking. The problem? They were never tested for long-term human consumption in their refined, oxidized forms. Omega-6 overload and the inflammation connection One of the biggest issues with seed oils is their high omega-6 fatty acid content. Our bodies need omega-6 in small amounts. But modern diets packed with seed oils have skewed our omega-6 to omega-3 balance. This imbalance triggers chronic inflammation, a silent fire inside your body linked to heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and autoimmune disorders. Most people have no idea that the fries they eat, the dressings they drizzle, or the snacks they munch on are pushing their inflammation levels through the roof. It's like setting your body's defense system on overdrive every single day. Oxidation, the silent oil killer. Here's something rarely discussed outside specialized circles. Most seed oils oxidize easily when exposed to heat, light, or air. Oxidation creates harmful compounds called aldehydes and lipid peroxides, substances proven in studies to damage cells, proteins, and DNA. This means when you cook with seed oils, especially at high temperatures, you're not just making a meal. You're possibly creating toxic byproducts right in your kitchen. Imagine frying your favorite dish, thinking it's harmless, while actually loading it with molecules that age your body from the inside out. Toxic refining processes, nobody talks about the journey from seed to oil is anything but natural. Most seed oils undergo heavy industrial processing involving high heat, chemical solvents like hexane, bleaching agents, and deodorizing techniques. This aggressive refining strips any natural nutrients and often leaves behind trace chemicals. While regulatory bodies argue these levels are safe, no one really knows what happens when you consume tiny amounts daily for decades. Think about it. Would you knowingly eat food rinsed in industrial solvents? Yet, that's what many of us are doing unknowingly every single day. Seed oils and heart disease, the untold story we've been told for decades that seed oils reduce cholesterol and protect the heart. But some studies paint a very different picture. While they may lower LDL cholesterol slightly, they may also increase oxidized LDL, the dangerous form that actually contributes to plaque buildup in arteries. Moreover, chronic inflammation driven by omega-6 overload damages blood vessels, raising the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So while you think you're doing your heart a favor by swapping butter for vegetable oil, you might actually be fueling the very diseases you're trying to avoid. The shocking connection to mental health. Here's something you probably never expected. Seed oils may affect your mood, brain health, and mental resilience. Our brains are composed largely of fats, and the types of fats we eat influence brain chemistry. Omega-6, rich diets have been linked to increased risk of depression, anxiety, and even neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. When your body is inflamed and oxidative stress is high, neurotransmitter production and brain cell health suffer. It's like fogging up your mental clarity without realizing the root cause might be sitting in your pantry. Seed oils in children's diets 
A hidden crisis many children grow up consuming seed oils in processed snacks, school lunches, and fast food. Pediatric studies have started to show worrying trends, higher rates of childhood obesity, early onset metabolic syndrome, and inflammatory conditions. Children's developing bodies are especially vulnerable to oxidative stress and hormonal disruption. By flooding young bodies with these oils, we may be setting them up for lifelong health struggles. It's a silent crisis unfolding in plain sight, yet few pediatricians raise concerns about the hidden impact of these dietary oils. How seed oils quietly hijack the food industry, look at any ingredient label on packaged foods, and you'll likely find some form of seed oil. Soybean, canola, corn, or sunflower. Why? Because they're cheap, shelf-stable, and perfect for mass production. Multinational food companies rely on them to maximize profits. This isn't about health, it's about economics. The result is a food system flooded with inflammatory oils, normalized by marketing campaigns, and protected by industry-funded studies. While consumers believe they're making smart choices, the real winners are corporations prioritizing the bottom line over your well-being. Doctors and the nutrition blind spot why don't most doctors warn patients about seed oils? Part of the reason is medical training rarely focuses on nutrition beyond basic guidelines. Much of the information they learn comes from outdated research or industry influenced sources. Unless a doctor pursues advanced nutritional education, they may not fully understand the biochemical impacts of seed oils. This creates a gap a blind spot where conventional advice emphasizes calories and cholesterol, but overlooks the critical role of fats in inflammation and disease progression. It's time to question what we've been told if you've stuck with me this far. You're probably realizing how deep this rabbit hole goes. We've been told for decades that seed oils are healthy, yet rising rates of chronic diseases tell a different story. Isn't it time we questioned the mainstream narrative? The food industry, regulatory agencies, and even well-meaning health experts may not always have the full picture. Your health deserves more than outdated advice or convenient myths. Taking control of your diet starts with questioning what's in your food and what's fueling your body every single day. Practical steps to ditch seed oil starting today if you're wondering how to start here are simple, actionable steps. Begin by checking labels on packaged foods. Avoid anything with soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, or sunflower oil. Cook at home using stable fats like coconut oil or olive oil. When eating out, opt for grilled or baked options instead of fried. Gradually transition your pantry away from processed foods loaded with hidden seed oils. Small changes add up, and over time, you'll likely notice a difference in how you feel. Don't wait for a perfect study. Trust your body. It's tempting to wait for more definitive studies before making a change. But your body gives you feedback every day through your energy levels, digestion, mood, and overall health. Countless people feel better after ditching seed oils, even without double blind trials confirming every aspect. Sometimes, Common sense and personal experience are the best guides. After all, if something wasn't part of the human diet until the last hundred years, maybe our bodies weren't designed to handle it in the first place. Your health, your choice at the end of the day, your health is in your hands. Seed oils might seem harmless because they're everywhere, but convenience doesn't equal safety. Now that you know the hidden dangers, you have the power to make more informed choices. Don't fall for the marketing hype or outdated advice. Your body deserves better. And if this made you question what's really on your plate, you'll definitely want to check out our next video on the top everyday foods secretly wrecking your gut health. See you there.